Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. We've got two machines here. We've got the Longevity 200EX TIG stick welder, and then we've got the Lincoln Electric, the V205T TIG stick welder. Now, both of them have the inverter technology. They can run on the 110 or the 220. They both uh, have the pulse wave capability for your AC welding. And uh, so I'm going to show you how the difference are between them. And, uh, we compare them. I'm not really going to run a bead, but uh, I just want to show you the control panels and we'll go from there and show you the stingers and the foot pedals and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to show you the Lincoln, the V, the Invertec V205T first and what it comes with. Now, it comes with the obvious kind of stuff here. It comes with your, your ground cable and then it comes with your, your stingers. One for your arc welder. It's basic, nice heavy duty clamp for your electrode. And then your little TIG stinger. Now the TIG stinger here, there's no, there's no uh, um, adjustment controls on the, on the stinger itself. The gas flow will be going through the um, coupling where you plug it into on the front of your machine, which that's okay. It's a, it's a lightweight uh, stinger, about 12 foot. Then come back with our foot pedal. Now the foot pedal I like. It's a nice and wide foot pedal. Got the non skid on there. And lots of people they don't like the, the knobs. Some people like the knobs. It depends for the adjustment controls here, so you don't have to keep going to your machine. But I like this foot pedal. And then uh comes with their manual. And so to show you all your instructions and stuff, what I'll do, I'll move the camera. We'll go down here to the, the panel and uh, show you how to set it up a little bit. And, uh, but you can always go to the guide here. This is a nice unit, about, I guess about three grand. And it weighs about 60 pounds. Uh, uh, On-off switch is here in the back. Same with your gas uh, fitting. But let me show you the panel here. Okay, here's the Invertec. It's uh, pretty basic looking. Your switch is in the back here. Give it a second to light up. And then it'll zero out. Okay, there we go. Now everything's on. You get the green light saying you're all good to go. Then you got your button here for your stingers. You got your, your TIG set up. You got your AC. You got your, your, um, your arc welder, your stick welder. Here you got your 4S and your 2S if you want to go ahead and use the foot pedal or your just your um, scratch start and uh, your control panel there or the foot pedal again. Now here's your wave set up for your AC and then over here's all your other parameter setups. Up oh, runs there we go. There we go. Then you can you cycle it through there. And it'll you're able to go ahead with the pulse on the AC to set up on your Hertz is like a standard 60 Hertz coming out of the machine but you can go ahead and and raise that Hertz up to over hundred if you want and it'll clean your your aluminum but also get you better penetration and that's a nice unit it's I like it I haven't used it but it's pretty straightforward and then your knob control over here that, that's your cursor okay there's that one now I'm going to go ahead and set up the longevity and that's pretty basic too. Okay, here's our longevity 200 EX and uh, it's a nice unit, about the same, same weight as the Lincoln, about 50 pounds and uh, a lot cheaper and, um, but it, it, it'll function the same way. It's got the, the 110, 220 uh, capabilities. Um, it's a nice, nice unit, and uh, let me show you what it gets, what it comes with. And it comes with your uh, stick electrode holder clamp. Nice heavy duty one, I like it. Nice heavy duty coupling. Then uh, our, our ground cable. Then again too, nice heavy clamp, long cable, about 12 foot. And then our foot pedal. Is right here with the long cable. I like the plug setup. It's a nice heavy duty plug on it. And then uh, on the foot pedal itself, it's got your amperage control here on the knob. Some people like it, some people don't. You know, it depends on who you talk to. And uh, if you want to use the, the, butt, the knob here, that way you don't have to mess with the, the control panel here. And uh, I'll show you what's up with that. 
Then we also got, it comes with gauges also. Now with the gauges, it, you've got the, the gauge for your argon and your CO2 mixture here instead of the flow meter. So it works just as good. And these are nice heavy duty, nice big easy to read gauges. Comes with the hose. And then also we've got our adapter plug for the 110 and the 220 setup. And uh, that's it's a short one, it's only two foot, but it's what you need. And then we've got our little consumables with our cups and our collets and our, our caps. Then what we really, what I like is our stinger. And then the stinger set up is then again too, it's got the nice heavy duty plug and they got your gas set up here and then the plug here. But then on the stinger control itself, you've got a like nice swivel uh, set up right here. So ergonomically, it's better for your wrists. And then uh, even on the neck of the stinger, you can bend that for those little hard to reach places. And then for your control switch, now I like this feature, you can take your on off and your amperage control switch off, right? And plug in one of the other kind of um, control switches, that like for instance, the, just the, the slider control. But make sure when you take it on and off, you get that plugged in there good because if it's not plugged in, you're gonna, you're gonna think this, the stinger's messed up and you're not gonna get your control. So this is a nice, nice heavy duty setup, covered and all that, yeah. So let me get this away and uh, we'll go back ahead and we'll look at the control panel. Okay, here's our control panel for the 200EX. And uh, I like this control panel better because you can, it's easier to read. And uh, plus our, the manuals come with it. And then we also have a DVD that comes with it too. And then, uh, so your on off switch is here in the back along with your gas line coupling. The quiet unit. And uh, so right here we've got our setup for your AC and DC button here. And then we've got our 2T and 4T set up here. Now the 2T is for your foot pedal and the 4T is for your, just your stinger. Then we got our gas test. And your gas test is just for testing your flow going through. It's not a button to turn on and it stays on all the time. It only stays on for about 15 seconds. Just so you know you're getting the gas flow. And then we've got our high frequency button and then we got our pulse wave button. And uh, that's for the AC and we'll come back to that here in just a minute. Now on this side here, we've got our stick set up. Okay, and you can set your stick up. We get it on DC. Okay, it's on DC. And then you can draw it on down. You get your start current. Like this is at 170. And then we'll go ahead and for your, your arc force and how, how much penetration, you can set that over here and that'll give you that much percentage. And that'll go from one to 10 on the percentage of the, the current going into the metal when you're starting that. And then the same thing with the other, your heart, hot start, when you scratch it, that'll give you that same amount. And then you'll come down, that's your, your arc length. And then we'll, we'll get out of that. Now, when we go to our TIG welding setup, this will go out. So we'll go over here to your TIG weld setup. And uh, right now it's on the foot pedal setup. And so that will give you your current, your start current. Let's go like this here. We'll go to high frequency on DC. And it'll curse all the way through. We'll start the cycle again. Okay, here we go. So this is be your, your pre-flow. So then you hit your test. And then you know you're getting your gas. Then we'll go wrong one. Go over here to our next one. That's our upslope. That's our current. And you just adjust it up to like that. That'll give you how long your current comes up. And then it'll just go to the next phase. And that'll be your welding current at 170. And then the pulse, pulse width, we don't need to. And then it goes straight on across for your start your downslope. Now this is on the DC. It's all in the book. And then, so if you want to go to AC, go ahead, push that again. We're on AC. We're still on the 2T setup, but we'll do our pulse setting. Okay, so we'll hit our cursor again. We'll go all the way back over here. See how it goes across more? 
because you got more of an arc and a frequency that you have to deal with with the AC balance. Okay, so we got our pre-flows the same, our start current, oh that's okay, 1.8 second for pre-flow. Our start current's the 170, and then your upslope at 4.3, and then that's gonna be your top out of your, your uh, amperage control. Now we're gonna go to the, the wavelength and how long the, the, the pulse will be for your AC current. And that's when you'll come down here and you'll adjust that as you go. And that'll go from one to 10 also. And then I'll go up to 200, down to 170. Or 78. And then your down slope. And then our final post flow. And it's in the book. It's more explained in the, uh, the, the DVD. But I like the unit because it's all right there in front of you. And it's easier to, to, uh, to go ahead and control. You know, with the pulse wave, you can go from the 60 hertz over the 100 hertz, but it just depends on what you're welding and what you're comfortable with welding. But it, I like it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the 200EX. Got a lot more gear. You got this little control panel here that will cover it. And uh, it's that way nobody's knocking on your, on your other knobs and stuff like that. And there you go. Longevity 200EX. Well, that's the Longevity 200EX opposed to our Invertec V205T by Lincoln. It's a nice unit, don't get me wrong, it's a nice unit. But uh, I think for the money, this will keep right up with everybody. And uh, like I said, the gauges are nice and the, the stinger's nice, everything's really quality. And uh, you even got a cart, but uh, check out the website, Longevity Global. and. Uh, We've got all the other ones. I'm going to have make another video here coming up. It's going to be the, the Longevity 255 EX. And thanks for joining me. This is Rob, and we'll see you next time.